YouTube family. So today is going to be a full day of eating keto to <laughs> lose weight. Yeah. Um. So just sit back, relax, grab a snack if you will, and enjoy the video. Your girl is currently in traffic. Traffic for a small town. A few moments later. Okay, y'all. So we're finally here outside of the gym, and I just realized that I left my water in the freezer, y'all. I had it already ready for me. I'm just so hurt right now. Um, we are about to go to Zumba class, y'all. I'll just show y'all just a, a few little clips of Zumba class. And yeah, um, I'm probably going to die because I have no water. And I just really don't like drinking out of a faucet, y'all. I don't know. I just don't like doing it. But um, yeah, so wish me luck. Hopefully everything goes great. <laughs> fasting for a little over 14 hours um yeah i'm not like hungry hungry right now um i have been drinking a lot of water um today and so i had to fill up on it again because i wanted to make sure i have a good amount of water for uh today's workout today is going to be a lower body day i do believe yeah yeah that sounds like fun so y'all we're gonna go ahead and go to the p.o box maybe there's something in there i don't know who knows hopefully it's not just bills because that's not fun at all but oh uh, yeah so let's go ahead and get on the road all right you guys let's see what's in the p.o box for today oh y'all there's only bills oh we got a little key oh hold up we got something what did we get <gasps> In a yes, 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 yes. Thank you, God. Thank you. That's what I was hoping it was. Just for the ones that don't know, Catalina Crunch is a company that sells like keto friendly cereal and vegan friendly, which is pretty awesome. Y'all know I appreciate that. They also have some like cheese bites, just in case you're like interested in some um cheese it's in a way or whatever it's not vegan friendly or dairy free friendly um cheese if i'm correct first off we have the graham cracker flavor then we have the dark chocolate flavor then we also have the cinnamon toast and last but not least we have the maple waffle i told y'all i was going to do like a review on the catalina crunch cereal y'all but it never happened like i don't know if i just like ate all the cereal or what yeah clearly that's what happened i ate all the cereal and i forgot to review it y'all so i'm gonna make sure i do it this time so therefore y'all a catalina crunch review video will be coming out very soon <laughs> productive queens over here we went and got our ingredients for our keto pumpkin muffins yesterday so i'm really excited about trying that recipe y'all oh my gosh it looks so good so hopefully it tastes good as well ingredients for our keto pumpkin muffins first things first we have some baking soda then we have some non-dairy coconut milk whip 
topping. Then we have some pumpkin. Then we just have some pure stevia keto friendly sweetener, some coconut flour, some Himalayan pink salt. Then we have five eggs, some vanilla extract, and some pumpkin pie spice. I almost forgot, we need some coconut oil, of course. Okay, y'all, so we have half a cup of coconut flour. But in the ingredients, y'all, it says half a cup of coconut flour. And then it says plus two tablespoons of it. So that's what we are going to do. Now, y'all, we are going to do one tablespoon and also one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Just put it in there. Next up, y'all, we have half a teaspoon of some Himalayan pink salt. Next up, y'all, we have one and a half teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda, I got baking soda. Next up, y'all, we have one and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. The recipe says monk fruit, y'all, but due to the fact that I don't have any monk fruit, we're just gonna use our pure stevia blend, and it's one and a half cup of it, and hopefully it doesn't like ruin the recipe. Fingers crossed, we'll see though. <laughs> y'all, this is so sad to admit, I cannot use a can opener to save my life i kid you not so <laughs> typically someone has to open the can for me or i just buy the ones that have you know like the little top on top of the lid or whatever because y'all i just don't know like what i don't know what i'm doing that makes it so difficult now y'all we have one cup of pumpkin we will be using half a cup of coconut oil Okay, y'all, so now we're just going to mix up our five eggs in this and then just put the rest of the ingredients in this bowl right here. Okay, y'all, so we're going to go ahead and put the oven on 350. Go ahead and let it just start warming up or whatever and just basically keep on mixing all our ingredients together. We have six of our keto pumpkin muffins over here. And mm -mm -mm, y'all, these, I, okay, I'm just gonna be honest, y'all. I just want to taste a little bit. Oh my goodness, too good. Now y'all can just go ahead and put this in the oven, but I'm gonna put a little whipped cream inside of this. I don't know if that's gonna be great to do because the recipe, you can put like cream cheese in it and you can make your own dairy-free cream cheese, but I don't have any nutritional yeast to make my dairy-free cream cheese, y'all. So y'all, we're just gonna try that coconut milk whipped cream and we'll just see what happens. <laughs> so you guys, we have the coconut milk whipped topping in our keto muffins. And y'all, the recipe called for like, you could use toothpicks, y'all. But y'all, why are toothpicks so expensive? They were like $2 or something. I was like, who is gonna pay $2 for some toothpicks? Like, no. So I just used a straw and just mixed it up. <laughs> okay, y'all, so the recipe calls for it to be in the oven for 18 to 22 minutes. So we're just gonna put it on 20 minutes that's good all right y'all so first meal of the day i have some barbecue chicken the uh barbecue sauce that i use is sugar-free barbecue sauce i got it when i filmed my most recent keto grocery haul i'll link that above just in case you haven't watched that video then i have some eggs with um go veggie vegan cheese in there then i have some broccoli with, and then i have some strawberries and to drink i'm just having some water and coke zero so you guys due to the fact that my keto pumpkin muffins are not done i'm just gonna put it on 450 for about six minutes and we will see i don't know if y'all have to do that it didn't work well for me just keeping it at 350 so 450 it is all right y'all so here are our six keto pumpkin muffins what i wish i would have done is just did it at 450 instead of 350 and probably just did it on 450 for maybe 12 minutes i think that would probably be great but i'll try this recipe again and try it with um it being at 450 just to see but y'all these things smell so good like oh my gosh i made these <laughs> these have to be my favorite muffins i've made period yeah i'm gonna go and say that yeah so y'all i ate one i gave my mom one she doesn't believe they're keto friendly but yeah that must mean it's really good <laughs> so since i am basically chef unique right now y'all i just want to go out there and say that i'm very proud of these keto pumpkin muffins in the description box i will have these keto pumpkin muffins recipe listed and i will also have the website that i got this recipe from listed down below as well oh y'all i am proud of these muffins mm -mm -mm. These are so good. <laughs> okay, YouTube family. So we're in the car waiting on my mom. She's coming to Zumba class with me today. I'm so excited about that. I had to make sure I got water today, y'all, because yesterday I forgot my water 
and I almost died in Zumba class for real like real talk I really did but um, I'm not gonna record today's Zumba session since I already showed y'all yesterday's so when I come back on here either it will be after Zumba class or for my dinner nice dinner I'm just having a nice little salad we have spinach and spring mix then we have just some chicken that I have from earlier just the meat portion then I have some vegan cheese we have some no sugar added jerkins and we have for our dressing just some Italian dressing and I also I'm gonna put a little bit of this lemon just squeeze it on there and yeah I'm just drinking a lot a lot of water because Zumba class killed me hashtag health hashtag consistent queen hashtag fit girl fall <laughs> okay y'all let me stop playing <laughs> all right bye <laughs> You guys, that salad was so, so good. Like, I have really enjoyed today's meals. Like, OMG, like Chef Unique is truly in the building now. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the fam. I'm over here documenting my keto weight loss journey. Your girl is sharing everything. We are combining strict keto and lazy keto. So join me by clicking that subscribe button plus the notification bell as well so you won't miss out on any future uploads here. I upload three videos a week so you can't expect a video from me on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And y'all, we have not missed an upload yet. Y'all, those keto pumpkin muffins are so good. Like, I, I knew they were going to be good, but wow. I wasn't expecting that at all. Y'all, even my mother, she's been eating all the keto pumpkin muffins. So good. I just can't eat one. She need to make some more. Y'all, she really over here trying to, like, eat them all. To my returning YouTube family, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, if you don't hear it from anyone else, I love you. So stay blessed, and I will see you in the next video, which will be Friday. All right, y'all. So I am going to take me a long, hot bath and just meditate and enjoy the rest of tonight. Okay, y'all. I love y'all so much. See you Friday. Bye.